elimination. This match will be contested in an elimination style with your winner, the final individual remaining. Your deciding referee for this title bout I never thought that I would say this, but welcome back. That was a very tense and very uncomfortable situation between Jack Pride, Mars the Specialist, and a surprise appearance by our grand champion, Lumberjack Larry Woods. What did I miss? <laughs> Just kidding. A lot. But right now, it's main event time, and we are going to crown a new champion of salvation. Four-way elimination, last person standing wins the gold as we see Michael Richard Blaze who defeated Taren from accounting in the opening round making his way to the ring, favoring that right ear still. And making his way to the ring representing the clandestine society. Hailing from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 205 pounds. He is your savior, your love pro wrestling challenge champion, God gift to wrestling, Michael Richard Blaze. MRB going for a swim. The Olympics are starting right away here. There's a little uh, doggy paddle, maybe. <laughs> but most importantly, looking to add another 10 pounds of gold to that LPW Challenge Championship. MRB doing his own version of the two-minute pose. I like it. Good time to get some pictures. Oh, last time Spencer got his coat, this time he gets his belt. Oh, he got his coat again. I mean, if I'm on RB, I maybe stop worrying about that fan and his ear. Your second finalist. Entry number two, the Rhinestone Cowboy, Stephen Crow. We have to talk about how we got two members of the Clandestine Society in this matchup. Stephen Crow defeating Jared Rogers in the first round. Worth noting, and perhaps you did already, but that's a four-way elimination match. So I would say that having two members of the same faction in the same match has got to have chock full of advantage. Definitely could pay dividends. That remains to be seen, Stephen Crow. Stephen Crow looking to be the first ever potential two-time Salvation Champion. MRB doing some uh, furniture reconstruction out on the floor area. I'm not sure what that's all about. I don't know what the hell MRB's doing anymore, Boris. I, I, I'm not convinced MRB knows what he's doing anymore. Uh, his, his statue fell over. It happens. Can you play Jenga with chairs? Entrant number three, the Canadian Goose, Kyle Shaw defeated Wolfboy Will Mantlaw in the first round. You see a high five there between the two members of the clandestine society. I, I hope he's talking to you. He is talking to me, don't you worry about that. Come on, guys! Ha! Ha! And when the goose. From goose Creek, Alberta! Winging in his light is a feather, he is the 
Canadian Goose, Kyle Shaw! And Goose entering the ring with two members of the clandestine society inside. That's And showing no fear, by the way. Got to be a little off-putting, however. I mean, worth noting that the, the Canadian Goose is one of the bravest animals in the entire animal kingdom. And... I think you're proving it when you go face to face with the clandestine and society. Your fourth finals. The thickness, Reed Matthews defeating Zoe Sager to book his ticket into this four way elimination match to crown a new champion of salvation. Oh, yeah. Let me hear it, huh? The year Reed. The thickness Matthews has had, you know, I I think it'd be a nice little cherry on top to walk out of here with 10 pounds of gold. He's earned it. One of these four men, their luggage going to be 10 pounds heavier. And don't forget, as we saw last month, that deal with the devil, that's kind of what it's all about. This thing's underway, let's go! Clandestine society not going to wait. Why would they? Pairing off against the goose. And the thickness, respectively, there's the bell. The bell's wrong, we're underway. And divide and conquer seems to be the flavor of the day for the clandestine society. You and I might have to divide and conquer. I tell you what, you watch that side, I'll watch this side. <laughs> Who's ducking that wild chop from MRB? Trying to fight out from the corner. He's decapitated the goose. This is your main event of LPW CWS number 16. I know there's a joke about Thanksgiving dinner here, but I'm just not going there today. All right, we got a strategy forming here from the clandestine society. Oh, I think that backfired. Pump kick. Crow hit his own partner. His own brother. Crow trying to escape the clutches of Reed Matthews up and over. Into the sunset, shoulders down. Remember, this is elimination. Ooh, ooh. Man, another hard kick to the face. Shaw took several of those from Wolfboy in his opening round match. Mm -hmm. Don't think Stephen Crow wasn't in the back watching. Well, I'm, I guess that MRB is looking for crowd support here, but I know better. Charging the corner. Oh, my God. To the thickness and got planted on the canvas. Wow. Reed isn't just thick. He is the thickness. He's the walking thick. And you don't want that thick. Stephen Crow slapping the taste out of the mouth of Reed Matthews. A decision he may soon regret. He's already feeling regret. And now he's feeling that slap in the face. Come on, cowboy, what you got, huh? Charging into a massive clothesline, up to his feet to receive another. The cowboy versus a Brahma bull. Tried for the head scissors, Reed, just too much, too big a mountain to move. Big power bomb. Uh -oh. Oh. Cut him in half in the corner with that shoulder tackle. Good reaction there. I think he was going to go for that textbook cannonball, and as Stephen Crow started standing up, he just turned it into a... <laughs> he chopped him right in half with a spear. This looking to eliminate Stephen Crow. Unless well, MRB has something to yeah, say about it. Coming to the aid of his partner, series of kicks. Lays directing traffic with Stephen Crow. Oh, right to the ropes. Snapping his head off that bottom rope. Uncomfortably so. Rolling through. I thought he was going to go for a cover. Looking to inflict some more punishment here. Face first goes the thickness to the canvas. Clandestine society combining their efforts on Reed Matthews. Stephen Crow with every piece of that. 
close line to the back of the skull, hooking the leg. Not if Goose has something to say about it. Breaking up the pin and gets a kick in the ribs for his efforts. I mean, to be honest, I'm not exactly sure why you would do that in a match like this. It is elimination. You get bodies out there, you got a better chance of winning. But maybe the Goose knows something I don't. Well, I mean, I think where he's coming from here, Boris, is if that... If Reed Matthews gets eliminated, it's two-on-one versus the clandestine society. Very, very correct. You know, it's like it's like keeping a shield in the ring. Somewhat of an ally, anyway. Yeah, well, an ally or not, at least some like a shield, somebody else to have the clandestine society go after. I don't know. Only Goose can tell. Stephen Crow stacking the Goose up in the corner. Reed Matthews is dispatched to the floor by MRB. Preheat the oven to 350. He's on the middle rack. Hello? Hello? Are you not impressed? No. Good boy. MRB assisting, oh. driving the knees of Crow into the ribs of the Goose. And again, in a four-way, you know, fatal elimination like that, no rope counts. Look in the leg. Shot out of two. Stu Garvey can do nothing but watch. Blaze now just pissed off. I've seen that look in his face before. Oh, now he's pissed off. Okay. One more, more pissed one off. More. I'm glad you can assess his emotions because I sure as hell can't. He sure got some concern for whoever that fan is. Dropping the knee on the side of the face. Giving the people what they want. Going for the cover again. Shaw out of two. Meanwhile, Stephen Crow putting the hurt on Reed Matthews up on the stage area. Concrete stage area, I might add. South Common Record crowd getting behind the goose. They're honking in every corner of the building. Kyle Shaw feeding off that energy. Comes back, gives one MRB right in the chops. Followed with a chop. Using that free right hand. Trying to cut that off into the top wrist lock, grinding Shaw down to the canvas. Meanwhile, the life of Reed Matthews being choked out on that middle rope by Stephen Crow. No remorse, just putting his foot on the back of his head, taking his wind away. The divide and conquer is definitely underway. Yeah, good call, Boris. That's a good eye, actually. Divide and conquer. It seems like they've continued to circle their focus or recycle their focus on each of the competitors. Talking strategy. You think this is how they drew it up? I mean, if, if so, it's working so far. Throw springing up to that middle rope. Always dangerous from the top. Knees. Big knee strike right between the eyes of the thickness. His night might be done. Or maybe not. I mean, shenanigans aside, Stephen Crow is one of the most pure strikers in LPW. It's one of the last knees you want to get hit in the nose with. MRB again directing traffic. Yeah, continue to talk strategy, continue to help each other out, divide, conquer, back to the thickness. I think this thing's over before it's even started, Boris. Oh man, thickness hit that buckle hard. One of the clandestine society is walking out of here with that title. Mark my words right now. It's absolutely looking that way right now. It's hard to argue. I mean, it looks epidemic to me. <laughs> and academic. Thank you. Combining their efforts now on the goose. And he goes hard to the buckle as well. Wow. Man. Like relentless. Back and forth on each competitor. So good in Clandestine society standing tall. I mean this matchup is not over, but I think in their minds it already is. Academic. Pro back to the crowd, MRB back to thickness. Matthews trying to fight up from underneath. Main event Matthews in his second main event. Consecutive months. Two 
Kutik. Putting the brakes on this whole idea. Keep that center of gravity low. Uh, maybe two of them can do it. What do you think? Reed looking for, or uh, MRB looking for some assistance. Thing is, no, thing is, Reed knows every thick in the book. Both members of the clandestine society still can't take him over. What does Reed have in his bag of thicks? Just hurling. Oh. Matthews cannonball style right in to the Canadian goose, Kyle Shaw. And hit him like a ton of thicks. Oh. But Matthews, I mean, same thing. Hey, gave him a pat on the back. Like maybe there's something going on with Goose and Reed, you know? There's some strategy going on with the clandestine society. It'd be in their best interest to team up a little bit. I think it's, it behooves each one to have a, somebody sort of on their side, even though it's a four-way. Blaze heading out to the floor to hand out more punishment to the Canadian Goose. Did you just say the Goose has hooves? Double knees from Steven Crow in the corner. Going for the cover, hooking the leg. Right in the middle of the ring. Oh! Matthews gets the shoulder up. Meanwhile, the Goose. Incredibly close to eliminating Reed Matthews. Goose just got slammed onto a, a bunch of front row chairs. Speaking of being eliminated. And back to the plan at hand. Goose is eliminated. Back to Reed. Focus is on. Now clandestine society going to focus their efforts on the thickness. I mean, this thing's over. There's no way that the clandestine society can walk out of here without this title. Maybe they can freebird that thing. Big knee from Pro, and now a second from Blaze. I mean, what if MRB wins this thing and injects himself into the match tomorrow? Sorry, Judas. I wouldn't put it past them. Right? But look at Matthews still. Trying to get back to his feet after all the punishment he's taken. My God, Boris, if there's anything we know about Reed Matthews, it is that you cannot keep that man down. We saw it last month against Larry Woods. Blaze looking to fire Crow back in for perhaps another knee. You right it. on the chin. And look at Reed feeding off it. I think they just triggered his adrenaline. Reed Matthews will not go quietly into the night. Both men, oh, they both went to the eyes. I mean, come on. Well, I mean, I mean, it's a four-way. There's no rules. It's not it's exactly just the ethical behavior. Well, ethical doesn't win you championships. I think we've had this conversation before. There's no rules. Why would you follow them, Boris? Come on. I think they're trying to. In a regular match? Fine, I can see if you want to insert your morality and, and the four, four and five counts that get stretched. There's no rules in this match. So you can't say they're breaking them. Both members of clandestine society depositing Matthews up on that top rope. Meanwhile, there's life in the body of the Canadian Goose out on the floor trying to get back inside the ring. He's certainly starting to stir. Is it following Blaze up? It could be looking perhaps for double superplex. Here comes the Goose. Looks like he's got something else to say about he's it. He's going to get involved. Everybody crashing down to the canvas. The only one left on his feet is Shaw. Stop it. He's still got both of his shoes on as he stalks his opponents. Goose. Don't MRB do this. begging off the goose. Looking for a timeout? I don't think that's going to fly. No pun intended. Well said. I mean, if MRB wants a timeout, I think MRB should get a timeout. He's MRB. You don't have to do this, Goose. You don't have to do this. He's negotiating here with Shaw and it appears to be working. Talking his way out of this one. Not just a handsome face, but a silver tongue. We'll leave, and you can finish with Reed, okay? No, I'm not. We don't need this tonight. You 
choice. They're saying that the clandestine society going to bow out. They're offering to leave and give Reed up to Goose all by himself. Yeah, that lasted about as long as I thought it would. Big double clothesline from Shaw. Elbow for Blaze, elbow for Crow. Hunkamania's running wild. Oh, bang. Oh, he made him DDT his own partner. Two for the price of one for Shaw. Landed it. DDT. Of course, he's got the clandestine side. He's down and out. Oh. MRP getting the shoulder up at the last possible millisecond. That's as close as it's going to get, I think. Shaw looking to keep the foot on the gas, though. Gonna need to. That championship is in sight. Looking for Sister Abagoose. Uh, Stephen Crow has something to say about Stephen it. Stephen Crow coming to the aid of his partner. Oh. Magic, killer Magic killer from the clandestine society. Reed Matthews just hit MRP with the world. And deposits Stephen Crow outside of the ring. He's hit MRB with the world. And he's got him in the middle of the ring, dead to rights, Boris. Stephen Crow over the top, down to the floor. I'm not sure of the location of Goose from where I'm sitting, but right now, Reed Matthews. Oh! Triple moonsault, but nobody home. The thickest moonsault ever. Blaze able to avoid impact, and now Stephen Crow on the top with a moonsault attempt of his own. He's nothing but canvas. What's what's Goose gonna do here? A plethora of moonsaults. Shaw up to the top now. It's a moonsault buffet. He goes for the moonsault. He gets nothing but mad as well. Body strewn throughout the squared circle. And MRP, watch out here, Boris. MRP up to the top. I smell a moonsault in someone's future. Oh! Moonsault, nice air, nice impact, no opponent. There are bodies from one end of this ring to the other, all in the name of becoming the new champion of salvation. Remember, this is elimination. All four still in it. I'm not saying I haven't seen Stu Garvey do a moonsault. We'll see who the first is able to get to some sort of vertical base. I mean, I mean, if this were take their time, there's no ten count. No, I mean, just gonna say if this were a singles match, that ten count would be administered. But the only advantage to getting up first is the advantage to have over your opponent. Looks like thickness is gonna be the first to rise. Matthews barely up to his feet. Barely Goose. might be an understatement. Goose looking to follow. I think he might be favoring that left leg. Everybody up in their own corner, and it's almost like we're starting from scratch. Yeah, let's do that. I could watch this all night. Blaze and Matthews go for clotheslines. Goose and Crow go for clotheslines. Nothing given here. Just flesh colliding in the center of the ring. Go. Just unbelievable. I mean, no one's giving an inch here. It's like a meteor shower. There's planets and meteors running into each other like. Oh. Blaze ducked that clothesline. Goose stuck that clothesline. Big super kick for thickness. Headbutt. It's breaking down, Boris. Up kick. Discus forearm. Dick. The discus did it. Yeah. Reed Matthews eliminates yeah. Stephen Crow. 
Oh, we're down to three. As much as that game plan of the Candescent Society. See, uh oh. What do we got happening here, Boris? Seen our first Keep your eye on Stephen Crow. Elimination, but Crow not going to the back right away as he brings Reed Matthews with that LPW Tag Team Championship belt. I don't think he appreciated getting pinned. Just my guess. Stuart Garvey trying to get Stephen Crow to head to the locker room area. Big super kick. Hey, look at he kicked him right on top of thickness. Boris, he got him on the three. Who's just been Reed Matthews? Stephen Crow, or sorry, is out. The Canadian and thickness is following him. The Canadian goose got super kicked and landed on top of Reed Matthews, who was still reeling from getting hit in the head with that title. I mean. I can't imagine he drew it up that way, but I know he'll take it. This thing's a one-on-one -on -one matchup. MRB versus the Goose. Your final two competitors, Michael Richard Blaze, the Canadian Goose, Kyle Shaw. One of these two men gonna walk out as the new champion of salvation. Blaze stalking his prey while Oh! To the fans. No. Stomped right on his wing. <laughs> Methodical. Surgical. MRB looks like he knows exactly what he wants to do. And I think we're about to see it. Blaze able to operate at his pace, perhaps looking for vertical suplex or maybe that brain oh, buster on the it. knee. That's exactly That's it. what it was. Count to ten. They say what? What? The goose kicked out at one. He could have counted to ten. How the hell is he up at one? Honking up a storm in the middle of the ring. Now you can count to ten. And that just pissed off God's gift to wrestling. Raining those rights and lefts. I mean, Stu Garvey imploring him not to use the closed fist, but it doesn't matter, Stu. It doesn't matter. MRB's going to do this. He's going to use whatever he can. Blaze tearing at the face of the Canadian Goose. I mean, you think MRB has run a terror over the Love Pro Wrestling this year, Boris. What happens if he's got two belts? Trying to pull the nose off the face of the Canadian Goose. I mean, kicking out at one on that brain buster on the knee. I mean, that's ultimate insult to Blaze. Oh, elbow right to the bridge of the beak. That Blaze. might have broken his nose. Blaze has been preoccupied with the fans all night, even in his first matchup against Taron from accounting. And it was, it was playful banter early on, but it is not playful banter anymore. Goose just tried to put his beat back into place. He hit him so hard with that one, he could take his time. Like he said, slow, methodical. This MRB is dangerous no matter what speed he's going. Big forearm shot. Goose down to one knee, but right back up to his feet. We often talk about the fight in this young man. You're seeing a first-class example, another savage forearm, but only down to one knee. I mean, it wasn't too long ago that Goose's first match back from injury was when MRB called him out. We saw Goose take MRB to the limit that night, Boris. You think he learned anything from it? Super kick right to the chin, but look at Shaw on his feet. MRB better turn around. And I believe MRB is learning and realizing that this Canadian goose is for real tonight. Firing in rights. Series of overhand rights. Blaze able to reverse oh. that Irish whip and that super kick right He's out. on target. He's out cold. That hit him right in the button. Oh! Rolling Blaze Boston, perhaps? Oh, Blaze out of two. Goose almost stole that title. Great idea. Rolling him up again inside Cradle. He's got it locked in. And the Who's goose! Goose! Boris the goose! Right. The goose did it! Boris the goose did it!
The Canadian Goose defeats Wolf Boy Will Manla. He defeats the Thickness Reed Matthews. He defeats Stephen Crow. He defeats Michael Richard Blaze to become the new champion of salvation. The Goose survives. He gets through the best of LPW, the best of CWS. And at the end of number 16, Goose raises the title. And Michael Richard Blaze, if you look at the look on his face, I think he's resigned to the fact that tonight he got got. It doesn't happen very often. And we'll be celebrating long into the night on a Thursday here at Edmonton. Call up your flock, Goose. Absolute fantastic night of action here at Sweet 16. Yeah, hell of a night, Boris. Great to see Goose carrying another title. But you know what? I'm looking forward to tomorrow now that this one's done. And you know what that means? We ain't got to go home, but we got to get the hell out of here. Wolf Boy Will Manla emerging from the curtain to show support to his tag team partner, a new clandestine wrestling society champion of salvation for everyone involved in love pro wrestling and the clandestine wrestling society my name is big bad morris good night everybody